Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jeff Rossman from Terra American Bistro. Welcome back. It's our second series for our anniversary April dinner series. We're talking fish. This is my local sustainable friend right here. This is the black gill rockfish. Caught right off of our close right off of your line pot. So we're talking collars. Fish, fish collars right here. Hey Tommy, come on in man. Let's talk about some fish and some collars. What do you got over here? We got uh, local black cod or rock, local black Rockfish. This is the fillet here. Very super fatty. Very, very cool. It's nice. The skin That's beautiful. Up well. Hey, where do the collars? Where do the collars come from? This is a great shot. Here's the collar. Here. It actually comes down into the belly cavity. So you get some of that belly meat in there. Some of that fattiness. Oh yeah. And you can see why it's called the black gill rockfish because it's all black and gill. Very neat. Pretty cool stuff. We've talked about the collars. We've got collars here. So these are different collars, right? From different fish, or is this all from the black girl? So these are pink paqueta group of collars. Ooh, nice. Coming out of Baja, two, three guys in the pond of the Ken Line Fishery. Uh, very fat. This is a piece of the fish that is underutilized. Back in the old country, wherever we happen to come from, our parents, our grandparents, they would utilize this whole fish and sell the clothes and use this. Now, I've tried some of this. This stuff is awesome. It's unbelievable. Oily, fatty, nice, and I don't see very much of it in San Diego. What's up with that? Well, that's what we're trying to do here at Catalina Offshore. We're trying to utilize the whole fish with this new whole fish program. I love it, baby. But we got to get the chefs involved, and luckily, you and several others are stepping up and having fun with this new product. That's what they call you, the fish dude. So we're going to go do this. This is Yellowtail. No, this was the pink grouper, right? That's the pink grouper. Pink grouper. Let's yeah. go cook some of this up. Let's go over the stove. Come on. Right on. All right, guys. We're behind the saute pan with the cod collars. We just cut them into two pieces. A little workable, a little easier. We've got a little bit of uh, flaked sea salt. We're going to sprinkle on some sea salt. we got a little black pepper, just some freshly cracked black pepper. Now, these have been around for a long time in, in Asia and Japan, and they do it with uh, miso. Now, as far as sustainability goes, we're, we're utilizing all the products here, and we're showcasing the, sh the cod collars right now. So I'm doing a little bit different take on it. It's a honey miso vinaigrette. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cod collars, we're gonna sear them in the pan, then we're gonna throw them in the oven to finish. So we're gonna get a nice little sear on these guys, just real simple, and then we're gonna finish them with the miso paste. All right, so this comes out of the oven now. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful color on there. So we're gonna see, it depends on, you know, the cooking time really depends on how thick these are, how thin these are. Everyone always asks me, it's done when it's done. So basically on this kind of thickness, you're gonna sear it like we did, throw it in the oven, and it's probably gonna be done maybe in about seven minutes, six, seven minutes. So this is our honey miso glazed cod collars. Little micro sprouts over here, some pea sprouts and some broccoli sprouts from Susie's Farm, all sustainable, all local. We're down here at Catalina Offshore. I'm Jeff from Terra American Bistro. We're celebrating our one year anniversary. We'll see you real soon, peace.